hey what up decisive marketers one of the most important thing to start before you do your email marketing or sending out any kind of emails is to make sure that you verify uh, your SPF DKIM and possibly DMARC records as well uh, because by doing this is going to improve your email delivery rate so that uh, you know your emails come across as authentic and it's going to reach uh, you, you know it, you have a higher chance of reaching the inbox so <clears throat> the first one is SPF and what SPF means is sender policy framework it authenticates your IP address uh, uh, that is uh, authorized to send out uh, emails via those uh, domains that you have verified and the second one is called DKIM all right and what DK, uh, DKIM is that uh, it, it encrypts a key into every email that you sent okay uh, by encrypting it validates you that you are the sender of the email okay uh, that you know your domain is uh, all your IP address is uh, <coughs> authorized to send this email so if it's not then you know uh, the you know the the email mail uh, the email mailbox provider then can uh, you know maybe this email is being spoofed and then they will move it into uh, maybe a spam or, or delete it or something like that okay uh, the last one is called DMARC, right? So what DMARC does is that it had further enhances what the SPF and uh, DKIM records does is that uh, it will uh, say that if this uh, email is being spoofed, it will either uh, do nothing about it or uh, quarantine it putting it into a spam or junk folder or outright reject the email okay outright reject the email and that's what uh, debug records uh, does okay and today we're going to be talking about a tool that allows you to uh, add these uh, debug records all right to verify your emails and uh, some uh, if your hosting uh, your email hosting already comes with uh, DMARC authentication then that would be great but a lot of hosting uh, services do not come with DMARC and that's why you probably need this two here is called DMARC report okay and DMARC report allows you to verify uh, you know uh, add uh, DMARC authentication to any emails that you send out okay uh, so that is going to help you to further improve your email delivery rate okay but uh, before I dive into DMARC report be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in DMARC report so um, I've added two domain here um, but I have not actually uh, completed the process of uh, this one right here so adding uh, you know the uh, DMARC is really simple all you need to do is uh, you know add your domain okay and once you have done that uh, they will ask you to add the DMARC record okay add the uh, DMARC record so all you need to do is to copy this this one right here okay and uh, then you can uh, add this into your DNS setting so this would be the uh, DNS name okay you want to set it as a TXT record and then put this into the value itself okay so once you've done that you know uh, it's going to it's going to show that uh, you know uh, you know it's, it's going to add them in okay the, the next one is to verify uh, your mail records so uh, once you're done once you're ready you can just set it to uh, it's showing testing here right? you can just enforce and then uh, it will be live okay then the next thing is whether you want to set up this uh, MTA uh, STS records I'm not really sure what this is actually so let me maybe google it up okay so I guess it uh, adds a layer of encryption between the sending and receiving uh, server so uh, so what you want to do is to add a CNA for this add this into the record value and uh, you know just pretty much follow this 
in your DNS settings, right? Uh, you know, if you are you know using some kind of web hosting, there should be a managed DNS uh, uh, option, right? One of the uh, managed DNS uh, feature, so you can just add all these uh, in, and once you have done that, you know your your email would then uh, be authenticated and then you will see something like this right where it's actually live it's reporting okay and you can then you know check out your reports right here okay any uh, emails uh, that are these are the compliant email, the non-compliant email, the rejected emails, uh, the total number of emails that has been uh, checked by the mark report and how many are being quarantined as well okay so you'll be able to see all this data okay and uh, the you know the summary and then you can also uh, it also checks for all your SPF records as well okay so if you are sending um, emails through a different uh, you know like a email marketing tool you have a different uh, SMTP server as well that you use for sending emails then you can uh, it will also show up in here right and uh, and then you can see the uh, timeline as well so when have you added you know your SPF records your DMARC records okay and uh, you know your reports these are forensic reports you know to you know check if there's any spoofing uh anyone that your email went into spam and then they mark it as not spam right any fraud emails any authentication failures it's all uh, in here as well okay so this is for your you know mta sts so this one adds you know it's probably checking for like the emails that are sending properly right and then you can also look up uh your dmark records right so they have a dmark uh lookup right so you can check uh any sites for their dmark right Okay, and then this would be for your generator. Okay, so you can generate the DMARC uh, rep, uh, reports, right? And then this one will look up your DKIM uh, records, right? And SPF uh, BIMI. So what is this? Okay. Okay, so um, let's look it. Look this up, right? Okay, so this one allows you to add your logo to the email authenticated messages. So, okay, so you can look this up as well. Um, let me just check if they if they actually provide uh, this feature as well. Mark report. Because in your email, right? Uh, so what this this BIMI does is that um, someone could just send an email as you and use your logo. So what happens is that uh, this BIMI would be there for you to authenticate that the logo is correct, right? It's actually from you. So I'm not sure if they provide this service right here. But they do provide the DMARC uh, authentication, right? So, <coughs> uh, and then the next thing would be um, any alerts. If 
I guess if you're if there are any uh, you know non-compliant email any emails being reported and then you'll be informed as well and then they do have a team feature so you can you know invite your team in and lastly they've got some widgets for you to create uh, you know to to see you know uh, like a dashboard right here okay so uh, I guess pretty much this is what the mark reports does I think that the uh, you know I've just connected me right so uh, you know the reports are not updated yet but I I think that overall they also have uh, API documentation and uh, I've also submitted this to public connect so hopefully we can get it integrated with public connect as well so otherwise I think that uh, DMARC report uh, you know it's a great option if you don't have um, any DMARC authentication on your emails okay so it's going to help you to improve your delivery rate and lastly um, lastly would be that uh you know i think that that the the deal that they are offering right now is a very good pricing because uh you get about like seventy five thousand emails per month just making use of the mark report right so um, if you are sending out this amount of emails you know i think it's a it's a great deal so that's all i have to share about the mark report um, let me know what you think about it in the comments below uh, and uh, if you know anyone who would want to have uh, the mark authentication on their emails to improve your email delivery rate be sure to share this video with them and lastly if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up i'll see you in my next video